Welcome back to Everything Tech. I'm Mike. And I'm Clark. And what we're here to do is talk a little bit about the, uh, the web, web industry, and uh, cool applications that have come out um, that people would be interested in checking out, using, so on and so forth. Um, there's really no uh, exact flow to the system, but uh, we'll keep it light and entertaining. Got to wing it. Yeah, so. So on with the show. Our uh, first topic is Foursquare. Uh, and Foursquare, as many people know and use, um, I, it's just a geo location application. You can check in different places. Uh, I don't need to tell all you smart people out there what it does, but the. the <laughs> well, dumb people. Clap, <laughs> you know you are. All right, all, every show comes back to dumb people. Yeah. <clears throat> the, uh, the, the big change here is the merchants can edit their landing pages. Uh, back in, uh, what was the, 2010, they gave the ability to Intel. Uh, they mocked up a page and said, all right, Intel, you can go in, change your landing page, and have a little control over it as far as broadcasting tips and specials um, and uploading photos. So it's almost like a little mini web page as it pertains to Foursquare. Well, well it's kind of like what Foursquare is doing is they kind of create, give the company's ability to create their own little, like, almost places page. And right now what they can do is they can add all their check-ins and they can see the check-ins live right there. They can put the deals up there, all the tips. And uh, with the recent mm, kind of deal they got going on with Groupon, my guess is they'll, companies using Groupon in Foursquare will be able to add their Groupon uh, deals right to that page as well. So it's something that, you know, definitely keep an eye on is, as the uh, basically the location-based marketing and the whole mobile, mobile reach is uh, growing faster than desktop right now. We were saying earlier, I'm kind of surprised it didn't come out a little earlier considering uh, when Foursquare rolled out the ability for merchants to um, get some metrics on the, uh, the data as far as who's following them, who's checking in, and uh, just the traffic in general. But I, I think it's a great addition, you know, and on the other hand, I'm glad that they're continuously offering some really great additions to the application. And what's, what's kind of cool is, too, is they added the ability to create multiple managers for the page for, uh, for one company. So, so it's not the one, you know, it's the info at login that everyone has to use. You can actually have multiple users to go in and uh, make changes to the page. So, so definitely if you're a store owner or a uh, Facebook, Facebook, Foursquare, let's stay with the right Fs. <laughs> Uh, if you're a Foursquare place holder, um, definitely check that out. Spruce up your page a little bit, add some pictures. For God's sake, put out some tips. Deals. People yeah. love deals. Right. So, uh, second topic, Skype. It's now optimized for iPads. Not the iPad 1, by the way. No, I have the, uh, the sad big tank of an iPad one. Well, we we kind of wanted to put that out there ahead of time. So all you people out there with the, you know, the old iPad that came out last year, if you're trying to look for the camera, there isn't one. Yeah. So you have to have the new fancy, uh, the two-way camera on the iPad too. Uh, the big difference, um, we've had uh, one of our coworkers try it out, uh, the old Skype um, on the iPad, and it was basically for the iPhone. So it looked stretched out, it wasn't optimized, it worked. It was the old, uh, it's the iPhone app, iPhone app, but you download it and you have to hit the times two. It's basically a bigger, blurrier version. So, yeah. so uh, nobody looks uh, super sexy on that, um, unfortunately, myself. Speak for yourself. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but the, the nice thing is it, it takes advantage of the full width of the screen, uh, two-way calling. Um, has the SMX texting, so you can text people while you're, yeah. while you're Skyping. So yeah, it has a lot, lots of little cool features, which is, it, Skype, you know, they have the, the partnership now with Facebook, so you know they're going to have to kind of step up their game with the, you know, Google Hangouts coming up and stuff. So, yeah. so I think this is just another way for them to, you know, add a little bit more value to their product. And this again works on both 3G and Wi-Fi. Um, and I've found, at least on the iPhone, that 3G works pretty decent. So um, if your connection is decent, Skype away, people. Skype away. Skype away. So. Uh, our last topic has to do with uh, a little bit of a, a study out there that 
IE or Internet Explorer users have a uh, lower IQ. And this was done by a Canadian company, hey? Eh? So, uh, <laughs> crazy Canucks. You know, they went out there and did the study, and they basically came up with, and it's being proved to be a hoax, but it was kind of interesting, so we figured we'd talk about it. That uh, people that actually use Internet Explorer have a lower IQ than the rest of us more well refined, you, you know, web users, you know, such as the Chrome and the Firefox group. So, uh, so you're saying, Clark, that wasn't true? I don't think it's true. I think you could assume that because every desktop basically comes pre installed with Internet Explorer. Just because they're using it doesn't make them have a smaller, lower IQ. It has more to do with their, you don't want to say ignorance, but they don't really know about Firefox or Chrome. I think that is the definition of ignorance, knowing. Yeah. Or maybe choosing not to know, but... Uh, I've been ignorant once in my life. Yeah. Twice. Uh, but uh, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if lower IQs, because I'm sure like in corporations... Like, yeah, I really didn't smart know. Smart kitty cats using the uh, IE browser, but um, overall, I think if you know and you're watching the show, stop using IE. It's a little kid in the corner eating glue. So, <laughs> just uh, wait a second. Is that you? No. Yeah, I was that kid in the corner eating glue, and I had the rounded scissors. So, sure. so to say that. Thanks for watching another episode of uh, Everything Tech. And you can, uh, if you have any questions for us, feel free to post them on Twitter at BizNewsTech. And that's it for this week. Uh, join us next week where we get a little bit crazier. We talk about mug shots. Mug shots. Um, what else we got? Not ours, by the way. No, no. Oh, we'll keep it there. Keep it interesting. Keep it light, folks. Till then, see, see you soon. Good.